the flight director credo, crew safety number one, vehicle safety number two, mission success number three. The flight director essentially is a quarterback. He is the leader of the team, soliciting input from the various different experts. It's ultimately up to him to make all the decisions regarding the mission. That job is not for everybody. My old boss, Mel Teflin, always told me when you're a flight director, the first day you come into that room and you're not a little bit scared, then you need to take another job. Each of those individuals in the flight control room have supporting expert flight controllers in what we call back rooms in other areas of the building. In addition to those back room positions, we also have a very significant team of engineering support. It's thousands of people on any given mission spread across the country and really across the world. The whole thing for both the Mission Control Center as well as the flight crew is trying to anticipate what can go wrong. We have a lot of procedures that we fly on board in the event something happens. Probably on the order of 20 to 30 specific to the big EVA tasks that we're doing. But on top of that, there could be hundreds of things that could go wrong. Common sense is wrong a fair percentage of the time. It's wrong even a greater percentage of the time in space. So take your time, think things through. You can't just close up shop and go home and come back the next day. You have to get it done. Space is very unforgiving of, of failure. It just is, is unforgiving of failure. If something fails, we hope we thought through that particular failure. Doesn't always happen that way, but we've gotten really close. Atlantis Mirror Houston, in anticipation of that post-landing feast, good morning.